In Mark 8, 27, Jesus asked his disciples, whom do men say that I am? Well, that was the question of the hour that day there in Caesarea Philippi. And it's a fascinating question because you see the demons actually had it right. Demons knew who Jesus was, and of course Jesus knew who he was, and frankly I think Jesus knew what men were saying about him, but he wanted to hear it from the disciples. Whom do men say that I am? And of course the answers were all over the board. Oh, you're John the Baptist, you're Elijah, you're a prophet. Then Jesus brought it to their doorstep when he said, who do you say that I am? Our man Peter hits a home run. Oh, you're the Christ of God. But when Jesus begins to explain exactly what the Christ would endure, Peter goes from being an instrument of the Father in confession to being a tool of Satan in carnality. He grabbed Jesus and rebuked him. <laughs> Imagine rebuking the Christ of God, bad idea. But Jesus went on to tell everyone, follow me, but know this, there's a price to pay and a cross to bear when you do. But what profit is there in gaining the whole world if you lose your own soul? What will a man give in exchange for his soul? So Jesus exhorts them, do not be ashamed of confessing me. So who do you say Jesus is? You need to get this one right. And that's truth for you.